Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to identify or flag duplicate values in a table. I'm going to use a one column table for a simple example, but this is using very large values. So uh, if there is something where we just had maybe 20 records, maybe we just had from uh, 20 records up to here, it could be easily done. So with small records, that might be pretty easy in a small and, and maybe a small table, but if this was a larger table and we had something like a uh, hundred thousand records, in this case I just have a hundred thousand uh, line table here, it might be proved to be a little bit difficult. Uh, let me go ahead and go back up here. So in this particular table here, we do have duplicate values and to show that there are duplicate value here, values here, I can just select column A here and go under data and go to remove duplicates and uh, this is the column that I want to remove duplicates on. My table does have headers. I'll, I'll go ahead and click OK and you'll see that the message tells us there are a little bit over 6,000 duplicates and uh, a little over 93,000 uniques remain. I'll go ahead and click OK and just Control Z to undo that because I don't want uh, that to be permanent here. Let me go ahead and check and see if my data is still there. Yep, it's still there. Control down arrow takes us down there. Control home will bring me back up there. So what we want to do and maybe instead of deleting the duplicates is we want to flag it or identify it. So there's a couple ways we can do it. I mean, I think probably the easiest way that you can do it if you had a small data, data set is to do the use the count if function. So we do count oops, count ifs and we want to count the range here and we want to do from range here to A2 to A2 but we want as we copy the formula down we want to keep uh, the beginning range, the starting of that range persistent so I'm gonna go ahead and press F4 to put the dollar signs in front of that and my criteria is will be this first range here right and so oops so what it's gonna do is it's gonna count uh, that to that range A2 to A2 and count uh, this particular A2 cell reference or value if I kinda go and copy that formula down see that it's changed uh, it's count on this particular uh, cell B, B8 here now it's looking at the range of A2 to A8 and counting or and looking at the value A8 and seeing if there is any duplicates and if there are it's gonna increase that count right so if I go ahead and just double click the fill handler and copy the formula all the way down you'll see that it takes a little bit of time here the processor is taking its time calculating because this is a large data set even though it's only one uh, one column table. It's quite large in, in effect and it's going to take some time. So let me go ahead and kill this particular uh, calculation and show you how you can do it with some two other examples using pivot tables and power pivot. So I'm back here in my worksheet. I'm going to go ahead and put this into a pivot table. Let me go ahead and just select anywhere within this table range. So under insert I can create and click the pivot table icon and I have this create pivot table uh, window dialog box also there is a keyboard shortcut let me go ahead and cancel that there's a keyboard shortcut you can use is alt n v and it's going to bring up the same keyboard uh, create pivot table uh, dialog box so it's selected the range you can see that's a1 to a100001 uh, which is that full range of data there I'm going to put it into a new worksheet I'll set the defaults and click OK and what I can do now is I can put that particular uh, field in the rows um, area and then also put that particular field into the values area where it's going to start to count it. Now I can go ahead and see that the first initial ones you can see that there's a count already down here we can see that uh, it's put this in alphabetic order we see that now there's a count of two here and so if I want to just flag those particular values that have uh, more than one basically it's a duplicate how do I do that there, where's the filter that lets me do that well there's not really a good filter here what I can do is go outside of here and press control shift L and basically turn on the uh, list feature or the uh, it used to be called a list feature but basically it's a table filter feature and what I can do now is put a, a filter flag here or put a down arrow so where I can do my filtering so I can just go ahead and select that and you can see that I have my values here. It's counted that particular value as one, basically no duplicates. And the other ones that are greater than one are duplicates. You can see also there's it counted that 100,000, which basically is the sum. So if I do a control down arrow, I can go down to the very bottom. It counted that grand total. We don't want that. So what we're going to do is I can go under design and just remove grand totals. I'll just turn that off. 
And once that's off, let me go back to the top, control home, and if I go and click on the drop down here, you can notice it's gone. So what I want to do is I just want to select the ones that have uh, duplicates more than one count, count more than a count of one. Click OK. So now you notice that it's given me the particular values that have more than one. So basically, those are the uh, values that are duplicate. So that's one way to do it, and that's using a pivot table. And you can see it's much more faster than using the um, count if function. Now, another way we can do it is if we do this on a recurring basis, or if we want to do some extra um, analysis. We can use one of the Excel BI tools, uh, which is Power Pivot. And so what we can do is we can bring something into Power Pivot. We can go click in Power Pivot. And let me go and click on our Power Pivot tab here. And basically, this is the same uh, table here. So what I can do is I can go under Power Pivot. So in my Power Pivot tab, this is one of the Excel BI capabilities now that is available ever since we have uh, Excel 2010. Um, it's something that you may need to uh, download and add it in and then enable it. You can just go ahead and Google Excel Power Pivot. And depending on which version of Excel you have, you'll probably find instructions from the Microsoft site to either add it and enable it or just enable it. So we have Power Pivot here. What I want to do is I want to add this particular range to the data model. So once I click Add to Data Model, what it's going to do is it's going to turn it into a table. And I'll bring it into the Power Pivot uh, interface. So what I'm going to do is it's going to create a table. It's asking me politely if it's going to create a table. I'll, I'll indicate my table as headers because basically the first row is that header. And I'll go ahead and click OK. And once uh, it brings it in, it's going to bring it into the Power Pivot window. So it's going to be a separate window. It looks almost like the Excel worksheet window, but it's basically a separate from it. Uh, so it's, it's another interface. So what I want to do here is I want to use a formula. So, so here I'm going to type equals if calculate and I'm going to count rows, count rows in table one. I mean, I'm, this is table one here. So I'm going to go ahead and select table one and go ahead and close parentheses. And I'm going to count those rows and I'm going to use the filter function. So I'm going to do filter filter this table, which is table one. Right. And then what are my filter expression? And my filter expression will be if table one, the skew equals earlier uh, table one, the skew. Right. Close parentheses, uh, close parentheses on the filter function, close parentheses on the calculate function. And in this if function, if it's greater than one, so if it's greater than one, what result is true? I'm going to put a one. If it's uh, false, it will be a zero. Right? And then close parentheses, press Enter. And we have our calculated column here. So I'm going to give this a, a title here. I'm going to go ahead and just say uh, has duplicates. Right? Go ahead and press Enter. Trying to describe what these set of DAX functions do is probably something I'm just still trying to figure out, but it works. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of refer you to uh, uh, Dave Colley's website, Power Pivot Pro, and he'll probably explain this much better than I can explain it. But what we can do here is now I can just take uh, this particular uh, column set. I can just select that, right click, and just copy and get out of uh, Power get out of uh, Power Pivot. Go back into Excel, the Excel worksheet. Create a new uh, worksheet here. Under Paste, I'll just paste the, the values here. And that will go ahead and paste it into the worksheet. Or what I could have also done is create a pivot table from uh, Power Pivot. But this is one way we can do it where we have it there. I can just go ahead and create a filter here. I'm under Home. I can just uh, put a filter here. And now anything that has a duplicate is going to be one, right? So I'll deselect 0, click OK. And you notice that it's found a bunch of duplicates here. And so if I select that and go all the way down here, you'll see that it's, it's identified these particular SKUs as duplicates, right? Uh, another way, as I mentioned before, we can go back into the Power Pivot window. Let me go ahead and uh, go back into the Power Pivot window, is we can create a pivot table out of there. So we can go ahead and click on Pivot Table, click OK. And we can also just bring in, uh, I was in Table 1. I had to, this is Table 3 was something I created earlier. But I have table one. I can bring that over here to skew. I can bring uh, duplicates uh, over here. And then I can do the count here, right? 
And basically what I want to do is I just want to count the ones that are one, right? The ones that indicates duplicate. If I click OK, you'll see that it's taken these. Let me go ahead and uh, control shift down arrow and then just uh, press keep the shift key uh, uh, pressed and just up arrow and you can see that it's picked out six two nine seven. If I go back into the pivot table, you can see it's going to be the same thing. Oh, the pivot table is over here in sheet one. If I go ahead and control shift down arrow, just shift up, control shift down arrow, you can see it's counted the same six two nine seven. So basically, either using power pivot or pivot table, we can we can get the same value and indicating which of the rows are duplicates. So there's our example of how to find duplicates within large tables. You can either use uh, a pivot table or you can use a uh, power pivot. If you've used Excel a lot, you know that there's many different ways to do the same thing. So here I just show an example of how we can use actually three ways. You can use the count if function, which takes, which takes a long time. Um, useful if you have a smaller data set or you can use uh, pivot tables to figure out which uh, rows have duplicate values or you can use a uh, power pivot to do it. Um, that becomes a little bit more advanced because you have to understand the DAX formulas. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.